I, I prefer Angora, I think, to Mohair de Mohair. Yes. 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 Mohair tickles you, don't yes. you? It, it just feels oh, so Oh, I luxurious. like that That's on you. That's pretty, Anne. Nice. Yes. You should have it. You should make something like that. I make one yes, of these. make the cards. Yes. Well, it's a nice idea to trim an existing cardigan with lace like that. Yes. Pretty it up. I could make the whole thing, couldn't I? That would yes. be lovely for winter. No, but just do the cardigan and do it up. Yes, but, but with all really, the, um, I would make these hanging baskets to brighten up my porch because the end of the summer all the flowers are gradually yes. going, you know. And it's very shaded, so if we do get any bad weather, which I'm sure we will, it will protect mm -hmm. more better. <laughs> yes. And I've decided to do the ferns and the different, a couple of different ivies there just to give it a little bit of a variation. And the first thing you do, Lucy, is check when you buy your plants before you put them in the basket to make sure that they're what I call clean. <coughs> and if you can see, there's all little dead pieces here, look. You mm. just clean them up like that, especially the inside of the plant. It's quite a lot, isn't there? Mm. Well, it's, as they grow, that gets clogged up. And if you keep watering or spraying it, it, it starts to rot in the center there. So you just keep it clean. And you can even do this when it's planted. Yes. in the pot or in your basket, whatever. Uh, keep an eye on the centre like that. It makes me feel quite sad. My, my little cat used to play oh, with these. Right and she, she died last Did week, she? isn't I had oh. her, Yeah, I had a mum as well. Which was, oh, I know you've had some very bad luck with your cats, haven't yes. you? Yes. Never mind. Never mind. So that's all ready to go in. There's another piece there. Now, um, I've just put the drainage in there underneath, these little... Gravel, is it? Yes, it's yeah. uh, the... You can't see that really. It's underneath there anyway. Yeah. And a little bit do, of soil do on top. Do those polystyrene balls act as draining? Uh, yeah. Well, no. You, yeah. This is what you mean in these plants. They've got. Yeah, they put things, them yeah. in there for moisture. They hold the moisture. That's yeah. what they're actually there for. The first for. time I, I found those in a plant, I, I thought it was. I thought it was insect eggs. I thought, oh my goodness, there's this horrible <gasps> insect oh, in there. Going to eat it. Yeah, I can believe that. <laughs> um, now you measure to make sure that the, the top of the mm. uh, soil is just below the level of your dish there. And what I do is just ease the soil away around the outside so it doesn't give it a bad edge, so it blends I've in. I've always crumbled it right off and no, got no. right to the back. You shouldn't do no, that. No, you mustn't disturb that. Now, as that's going to go in the front, mm. and I want this rather one-sided. I don't want it all uniform, so I thought I'd pop that one there. And then another one alongside, which is a little bit smaller. And if I turn this round, you can see what I'm going to do here. So these are lovely, aren't they? Because they just, you don't seem to have to do anything to them. They just flourish. Well, as long oh. as they're um, not overwatered. Now, don't forget, that's the front of the thing. Um, if you put a small plant in like that, you're going to drop it way down. So you have to just pack it with a little bit of soil and bring it up to the level of the other one. I suppose so if you put too much soil on the top, perhaps it would rot it, would it? Well, the like? thing is, you can't water the plants. The soil comes so far up that uh, the water runs off the top of the oh. basket, so you've got to be a bit careful there. That's a lovely so shape, that kind of fancy leaf. What do you call it that one? It's quite nice. Well, there's so many of these ivies around, you just have to shop around and buy the That's ones so that... so pretty, that one, isn't it? See, they're quite solid there now, so you can start on the back. And as, as you can see, I've got them going, this one will go way down. You, yeah. you can trim them up with nail scissors, actually, if, you, if they grow too fast. What, so you mean you cut the ends off, the new bits? Yes, just, just trim them back. That's if you want to. Yeah. Now, that's going to go in there quite firmly. And the other one on the other side, that's fairly clean. Have you got any of those mother of thousands that have all the little babies that hang on oh, the end? Oh, I did. I, I haven't got haven't any you? Do you want one? Because I've got, mine mine got lots of babies on it. Oh, lovely be great oh another thing about this Lucy I've put this in I've, I picked this bowl because it had a sauce on it because oh, I it went, what? Uh, it's got a saucer built in here oh, yes, I um, because that. I'm going to bring this indoors after say the end of October when the weather gets really mm. bad um, I shall bring it in and keep it indoors all over the winter and then in the spring you can pop it outside once the frosts have stopped but then I bring it in again for the summer because these plants don't like bright sunshine. No. So what I use them for is the spring and the autumn outside and the winter and the summer inside. inside yeah. But as providing you get a very well lit room or 
a big bay window or something like that. Mm. They, they flourish quite happily indoors. I get a lot of bits on the ends going oh, around. Oh, brown, yes. I don't think it's a draft. Well, what or... I do, I cheat rather like that one's going to start. Uh, just get a pair of nail scissors and, and clip it off. And yeah. do it at an angle so it, you're cheating, really. Yeah. But um, It was a wonderful discovery for me to discover those spikes things, to feed them as we oh, keep yes. mixing up the stuff. For the, the holidays, stuff, they're, they're marvellous. But what I do with these is use the... Um, spray with tepid water in. They're lethal in my and house. Just Everybody squirts everywhere. you as you come out of the yeah. Oh, do they? Oh, they are lovely for nice children to yes. play with, aren't they? <laughs> so really, that's... Oh, and of course, um, in the uh, uh, summer, I feed them once a week. Once a week, yes, really. But yeah. I ease up over the winter. They don't seem to need... I don't feed non-flowering plants very often. You think I probably should? I've not had much rain. Them. Does it? Yeah, yes, yeah, it helps that to... Uh, you think because they haven't got flowers on, you don't need to feed Visitors them. Visitors and house guests, this is the one that was so controversial in the papers and everybody was having a natter about what was said and people were phoning up apparently and writing it. It says the days of clear-cut policy when married couples were put together and unmarried couples kept apart was banished. A host